So in this video, we're gonna talk about a SketchUp extension that can change the way you work with textures forever. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So SketchUp does a pretty good job of giving us a starter set of textures that we can apply to objects inside of our model. So for example, if we wanted to add a stone material to the outside of these walls right here, there's a few different materials you can pick from built into the SketchUp library. All right, and so these textures are fine for a preliminary view, but if you wanna create something a little bit more in depth, you're a little bit limited with what's in SketchUp. That means that you have to go start finding other websites that you can download materials from. So you can go to a website like Polyhaven or 3dassets.one that are gonna allow you to search multiple different websites and try to find a material that you want. However, then you have to download them, you have to unzip them, you have to import them into SketchUp and you have to set up the texture. And so this is a perfectly valid way to find and bring in textures into your SketchUp models. But if you have to do it a bunch, it can get really time consuming. Like if you didn't like this brick material, you'd have to go through that whole process again just to get them in here and start applying them. However, there's an extension for SketchUp that's actually making this a lot easier. So this extension is called Architectures. You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. And basically what it is, is it's a tool where you can create and set up your own materials directly inside of SketchUp. And so you can also visit their website as well to get more information about what they have available. Basically this tool allows you to set up really any kind of material with any of the images that they have inside of SketchUp. One thing that I really like about this is they're starting to partner with different manufacturers so that different materials for manufacturers are being added as well. So let's take a look at the way that it works. So basically what you do is you install the architectures extension and then you click on this button right here. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to look for different material types inside of SketchUp. So for example, let's say that we wanted to look for a brick material. So there's a bunch of different kinds of brick available in here. Let's go with this first one right here. And so you have an option to either import the pre-made brick material, or you can click on the option for edit, and you can actually come in here and edit your own material. And so what this is gonna do is this is gonna help you create a seamless brick texture for use inside of SketchUp. And so we'll talk more about patterns in a second, but you can use this in order to generate brick materials with different patterns. So you've got the different kinds of stacks in here, other things like that, and you can use that just by clicking on this option right here. So. You could adjust things like the hue, the tint, and the brightness of the image just using this slider right here. So you can use this to customize your image. You can apply a tint to the material if you wanna do that. So let's say that we wanted this to be tinted with more of an orange color right here. You can click on that and you can add the tint to your material. If you don't like the tint, you can put it back to white. But then once you've set all of these on here, you can click on the button for import. Well, when you import this, notice how this automatically creates a material inside of SketchUp with this brick. So now I can come in here and I can apply this brick to this object right here. I can adjust the size like this. I can really do whatever I want with it. Well, not only can I create things like brick, I can also, let's say we wanted to add something to our countertop, I could create something like a stone for our countertops. So we could just go back right here and now we're gonna look for a stone material. And so you've got a ton of different stone materials to work with in here. You've got limestones, you've got white marbles, you've got granites, you've got all sorts of different things in here. Let's say we wanted to bring in this green marble material. You can edit this if you want to before you bring this in. So notice how, again, you can set this where it has a pattern if you decide that you want to do that. Or in this case, I just want this to be a total stone material. So I can just click on import right here and I can apply that material to this surface, all without me having to go out and find a stone material in another website. And so I really like what this tool is starting to become because not only does it give you the ability to do things like the materials that we were looking at, but if you get the pro version, which uh, is something like $5.99 a month, you can get access to bump maps, which you can export to send to a rendering software to make things look bumpy. You can also create hatches for like AutoCAD or Revit. So for example, if I was to import this in and apply it to the surface, notice how it's going to give me this hatch 
instead of a material with a texture applied to it, which I could then come in here and adjust, right? I could bring this size down, I could bring this size up, other things like that. But it also allows you to create hatches directly inside of this program as well. So you can use that to create those hatchings, which is actually something that I think has been missing a little bit. So I think that's a very powerful tool as well. And so what I'm really excited about, if we go back to the architecture's website, is notice how they're continuing to add new textures down below. So this is a monthly cost. Um, like I said, it's like $5.99 a month or something like that. But you've got access to these new stones and granites that they're adding. So they're working with like Rustwood or Stone Curators or um, other manufacturers to actually make these things available. So for example, you've got like this tongue and groove wood that you can bring in. So they're actually adding to this library as we go. Um, so I, I talked about this extension probably about a year ago and just seeing what they've added in here, they're really doing a good job of kind of building out this series of textures that's in here um, so that you can create really whatever you want inside of SketchUp. So if you do wanna bring in texture image files from websites and bring them in, I will link to a video on this page where you can do that. I do think that this procedural creation of textures could be the future of how textures are done inside of SketchUp. But leave a comment below, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.